Okay, so here we are you know, on the eve of reopening. It's been 10 plus weeks since we closed down. It's hard to believe, uh, but uh, here we are you know, getting ready to reopen. We're out there as we speak working on segregating the, the slot floor with the new seating arrangements, taking out a service and turning off the machines that we need to. Um, we're required to be at 50% capacity, restaurant, casino, lounge, really in all areas. So I'll go through those departments, you know, a little later on but the bottom line is that you know we're, we're opening back up but this is in no way normal I guess we're in a we're moving in a direction of normal but this is in no way normal so in general you know what we know um, is that this is a, a virus that is spread from person to person so it makes it difficult in our situation where we're you know close and social um, to try and do everything right so we're, we're gonna try and do everything right by creating the, the separation so what we know is that this is mostly spread person to person we know from CDC lately, they've said that uh, contacting with infected surfaces is not likely a way that a person is infected, but there's a possibility. So we're going to continue to, you know, clean and disinfect as uh, as often as we can. So some of the best information I've heard on this, I actually heard early on. I heard a virologist, you know, a person who studies, a scientist who studies viruses, who said this is an airborne virus that is spread by respiratory droplets. So we know that the, the virus itself is almost beyond microscopic is so small you know even the best of masks probably don't stop it but the medium it travels by is the respiratory droplets and by wearing a mask you can you can significantly slow those down if not stop them so wearing a mask as you've heard on the national t tv is really for the people around you um, more so than yourself even though it does provide a, uh, a modicum of uh, protection even for you um, again early on i heard it said by the the surgeon general of the united states that if you act as if you are infected, you will uh, behave better because of it. You will, you will, you will act not to infect those around you. That's why you keep the distance. That's why you wear a mask when, uh, when, uh, when appropriate. So person to person, I've informed all of our employees that kissing, hugging, shaking hands for the foreseeable future, consider those illegal acts. Let's not do them. So let's try not to. Um, you know, we're in a social environment. Let's try not to catch up with people we haven't seen in a long time in a natural way again hugging kissing shaking hands let's try and keep our distance wear the masks when appropriate so employees will be wearing masks in the service areas and again where appropriate we have uh, created you know almost fishbowl like situations at the front desk and slot booths to where behind those barriers um, they may not be wearing a mask all the time when they're in high contact with customers or patrons they will be um, but we've tried to make those those areas as safe as possible. So waiting areas, um, you know, I'm hoping we're not going to have a lot of waiting at the restaurant, waiting to get the front desk. We do have the markers indicating six, they're actually six and a half feet um, back. And I think we have three different markers at the restaurant and we got a couple at the front desk. You know, if, they, if we get beyond that, just we will ask people to um, move, you know, move into the casino, even move outside or go somewhere else. We'll take phone numbers and call people on their cell phone to let them know when their tables are ready. Hand sanitizers, you know, we have five you know, throughout the uh, casino and, and uh, restaurant lounge areas. Um, they are marked, they're on pillars. Employees can point you in those directions. But, you know, again, according to the recommendation from the experts, washing your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds is still the best way. We have, you know, no touch front doors. You walk in the front doors, you can walk into the bathroom. There's no doors on the bathroom. We have, um, automatic censored soap, water, and uh, paper towels. So it's a pretty safe environment to go wash your hands in our in our bathrooms. So here we are, we've always been known as kind of a social gathering. And uh, you know, I, I just gotta ask everybody to try and do their best to behave as safely as possible. So masks, we're not gonna require our customers to wear a mask, but I would really appreciate and we put up signs saying that they're strongly recommended. You know, in a perfect world, somebody would come in and the casino, it, you know, if it's if it was not busy at all and you're not going to be near anybody, you probably don't need the mask for that long. But wear a mask coming in, going to the restaurant. Obviously, you're not going to eat wearing a mask. You're not likely to sit at a machine and play and drink and smoke or whatever if wearing a mask. So when you're in your spot, I can see taking the mask off, but I'd really appreciate if people wore masks, had them available. For those that don't, we will have masks available at the front desk, at the slot booth, and at the uh, at the restaurant. So I mentioned, uh, you know, social gathering, and, and, and we're going to see people here that we haven't seen in a long time. I've instructed my employees to be polite, but trying to avoid the uh, 
the physical touching. I'd appreciate it if customers did the same. I know that you may want to catch up with uh, you know, people you haven't seen now in two, three months. Um, it would be best wearing a mask or keeping distance or even going outside. We're, we're at that time of year where it's, it's nice outside. And uh, again, from the experts, I've heard more than once, all things the same, you're 20 times less, 20 times less likely to be infected in an outdoor environment versus an indoor environment.